circle back, actually, this is a little bit ahead of itself. Let's circle back to Styx, X, and Hammer. On the last episode of Mad at the Internet, we discussed how Styx Hexenhammer, a.k.a. Tara Warwick, a.k.a. a man that fondled a woman's breast very uncomfortably after giving her a garden homegrown abortion <laughs> tea, um, was arrested for domestic battery in Nolens and was sent to the Nolens Parish Prison, which is actually a jail for some reason. <clears throat> there... He sleeplessly waited in a room with 12 black men who did drugs in front of him and in front of jail guards, uh, awaiting to be bailed out by Jeremy Hambly, a.k.a. The Quartering, who now owns his soul, apparently. Uh, Styx Hexenhammer uh, maintains his innocence, says that he will beat the charges, but in the time since then, um, some weird shit has happened. First of all, Samantha Catherine, who is identified to be somebody that he knows, probably the woman, uh, says, so without trying to start more shit than has already been started, I could use some help. Those who know me well know I hate asking for help. I don't like others feeling responsible for me because it, I've learned it gives others a superiority complex when they think they bought the right to control me. <clears throat> and then there's a quote. When everyone is done grifting off the drama of my trauma, feel free to donate to my cash app or PayPal so I can move the hell on from people who think they own me and can threaten my finances, threaten my life, my husband and kids. That would be great. It's in my bio. Um, so that's a weird thing to say because Sticks beat her, I guess, and she has husband and kids. So I'm not really, <laughs> not really sure what's going on there. Uh, then, this extraordinarily weird video was posted from this YouTube channel, but this user who uh, made his first post, I want to say? Not even. Um, this user archived it. So it's a very weird video, and we'll listen to it together. The editing choices are not mine, obviously. Look at the picture! So super, super weird intro. Um, the still frames show her with a bloody nose, I want to say. Has that happened yet? No, not You've made your bed. Now lay in it. I don't care if you're crying. It makes no difference to me. You've treated me like absolute shit this entire time. I'm a thousand miles away from my home. With a person who, apparently, I can't trust at all, as my guide. Do you know how that feels? You won't answer the question, because, of course, the question invalidates your particular opinions. How lovely. I'm so imperfect. I'm so terrible. And you're just perfect. Everything about you is perfect and divine. With your tarot cards. Okay, so that was a weird one. Um, it then cuts to three messages before ending. Uh, the first one is... Tarl saying, Why don't you just talk this out with me, Sam? I am trying to be reasonable and I know you care for me, but I will not survive another jailhouse rock. Uh, this is supposedly him trying to get her to cooperate to have the charges dropped because he doesn't want to go back to jail. And then there's another message. He says... At great hazard, I, sent, I send you one last response to the message you left in the room. I am not cheating and won't. I didn't mean to hit you with the phone. I will never find someone as great as you. I have commanded mom to let you stay at blank. If in need, and yes, you may reside at blank, my lawyer will push for the charge to be dropped, and I hope to return soon. This is all my fault, and I will stay off alcohol for life. I saw alcohol yesterday and felt only disgust for it in myself. I humiliated my family, hazarded my work, and worst of all, now you aren't beside me. I beg forgiveness and will become the man I need to be. I doubt you ever want me again, but if there is even a one in a million chance, I will go the distance. You can rep le why, but I dare not say anything further except I love you. Be safe, and I will abide by the protection order. I will never deserve someone as perfect as you, as you, as perfect as you, and I will feel guilt for this forever. Um, and then there's a random picture of, um, I'm assuming that's, 
I thought that was Narcissus, but it's just the naked lady. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, so there you go. That is the Tarl update. I don't. It's hard to say if this is real. There's a lot of people in the replies to the Kiwi Farms tweet on Zitter saying that this is AI generated. Um, because it doesn't sound like him on his YouTube videos. Like, it's his voice, but it sounds different. I'm just like, he probably sounds different when he's talking down to a woman that he's throwing shit at. <laughs> and trying to, like, uh, wear her down versus how he talks to his audience when he's, like, comfortable in his zone. I imagine people sound way different in those circumstances. But it's hard to imagine that that's AI. It doesn't sound like it. Um, so... There's that. There's a lot of people making fun of Hambly for bailing him out, but we'll see how this turns out. I don't like him, so fuck him. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!